Hi, and welcome to my video on adding rational expressions with different denominators. The addition of rational expressions or different or with different denominators, will, I will follow the steps outlined below. One, factor the denominator if possible. Find the LCD. Write equivalent fractions with the LCD. Add the numerators, keep the denominator, and simplify. This is the pattern that we'll use for adding rational expressions when we have different denominators. Again, factor denominators, because if you don't, you won't be able to find what the LCD is. And picking out the LCD makes it easier. Then write equivalent fractions with the LCD, add the numerators, keep the denominator, simplify. Here we go. Let's do some examples. Simplify each. Notice x over 3 add on x over 2. Let the LCD for 3 and 2 is 3 times 2 is 6. That means I will multiply the... F I need a 6, so 6 times what number? 2, 3 times what number? Give me 6 is 2. So I put 2 on the top numerator. And 3 and the 6, 2 and the 6 goes 3. So 3 times 2 is 6, so I put 3 on the top. It keeps the balance. So multiply. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times x is 2x. So that's an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 6. Add. 2 times 3 is 6. And 3 times x is 3x. So notice I have two fractions now with the same denominator of 6. So you keep the denominator of 6. And you add the numerators of 2x, add on 3x is 5x. And 5 over x, 5x divided by 6 can't simplify. And B, we have two fractions. We need a common denominator. A common denominator, the LCD, is I have an x and a 4, so it looks like 4x is the LCD. So that means I will multiply the first fraction by 4 on the bottom, because 4 times x is 4x, so I put 4 on the top. This one is already 4x, so I don't have to change it. So multiply, 4 times x is 4x. 4 times 5 is 20. Add on. I have a 4x, and so it won't change. Notice I have a common denominator of 4x, so we write it down, and 20 plus 3 is 23. 23 does not have a factor of 4, so it's fully simplified. C. Again, I have a 8 over x plus 2, 7 over x, so I need to find the LCD. So the LCD, I got to have an x, and I have to have an x plus 2. These are two different denominators. So that means I multiply the first fraction by x over x, because x times uh, x plus 2 gives me this denominator, and I have to multiply this fraction by x plus 2 on top and bottom, numerator and denominator. Notice I got equivalent fractions, so when I multiply x by x plus 2, note, I keep them, I do not multiply them out. I leave it as x times x plus 2. But the numerator will multiply 8 times x is 8x. Add on, the denominator is going to be, so whatever you put here, you will put for both of them. No matter what this order is, I will make this one and this one the same. And now we multiply 7 by x plus 2, so that's 7x plus 14. So we have two fractions with the same denominator, so we write down the denominator, which is x times x plus 2. And we add. Now I can put the two of these along here, but you can see it's easy to add these. So 8x add on 7x is 15x plus 14. So we can only add these two terms and put the 14 on. And this cannot factor, so there's no factor of 15x plus 14. That's x is not a factor, x plus 2 is not a factor, so that's fully simplified. D now, we've got to make sure that 
sometimes if you look at this you would take this one is an LC this one times this this denominator times this one will be the LCD but we have to factor and when we factor is it in descending order yes one and a constant one and a constant but we notice we can take a 3 out so it's 3x divided by 3 is x 6 divided by 3 is 2 and 5x minus 10 5 is a GCF so 5x divided by 5 is x and negative 10 divided by 5 is negative 2 since you haven't factored which is what you should do the LCD is notice you got a 3 and a 5 so you got a 3 times a 5 and an x minus 2 that means you have a 15 x minus 2 15 times x minus 2 so if that's the LCD what do I need to multiply 3x minus 2 by to get to 15 I multiply by 5 over 5 so 5 times 3 is 15 x minus 2 and this fraction what do I need to multiply 5 by to get 15 it's a 3 I already have the x minus 2 so I need a 3 times 5 times x minus 2 to give me the 15 x minus 2 so I put 3 on the bottom 3 on the top that gives me a denominator of 15 x minus 2 5 times 2 gives me 10 it's a multiplication and common denominator 5 times 3 is 15 x minus 2 again this denominator will be the same as this one if you do it right so x times 3 is 3x so we have the same denominator so we write the denominator down and we add when we add we should always put it in descending order so 10 add on 3x is the same as 3x plus 10 we put it in a descending order and that one is done let's try some more let's see what happens again I got more examples done the more you do the better you get example E simplify now again we look at the denominators and they look like they're not the same but if you factor your denominators if, if you can do so because you'll find the LCD easier so 4x divided by 4 is x negative 4 divided by 4 is negative 1 because 4 is the GCF we take the 4 out 3 and I see a 4 common here so 4 take the 4 out 4x divided by 4 is x 4 divided by 4 is 1 so the LCD is I got to have a 4 I got to have an x minus 1 and in this denominator there's an x plus 1 so that means this denominator 4 and x minus 1 is right it's already right there 4 and x plus 1 is there and there so these two denominators are represented in here so what do I multiply 4 x minus 1 to give me this denominator the answer would be an x plus 1 top and bottom because I've got to make it equivalent and this fra this fraction what do I multiply this denominator by to give you this LCD and as an x minus 1 top and bottom to make them equivalent so the denominator let's do this let's write this denominator down for both 4 times x minus 1 x plus 1 4 times x minus 1 x plus 1 notice I do not multiply this out I leave it in the factored form there's a reason for that because sometimes when when you do not multiply in the end result is that you'll be able to factor your numerator and cancel so we leave it in, leave this denominator and this denominator same as this so we multiply 5 by x plus 1 so it's 5x plus 5 we multiply 3 by x minus 1 so it's 3x minus 3 we have a common denominator which is the two of these we write one down and we add so 5x add on 3x is 8x plus 5 subtract 3 is plus 2 notice now that we have this we said I said simplify before 
So we have to factor your numerator because 2 is a GCF. So take the 2 out, you get a 4x plus 1 all over 4 times x minus 1, x plus 1. When you factor out the 2 here, that means the 2 and the 4 can cancel. So 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 4 goes 2. So I have a 4x plus 1 all over 2 times x minus 1, x plus 1. So note, after you add your numerators, which is this expression, you should always try to factor this to see if a factor of this is also a factor down here, so you can cancel it out. F, they don't, they look like they're similar. That's a plus and that's a minus, and that's a plus and that, so they're opposites. So what happens in math when I work, remember I said you should always write it in descending order? So let's work this up on the side, but I'll keep writing it down. So I have a 6 minus x. I'm taking this denominator, 6 minus x. I'm going to write it in descending order. So it's a negative x plus 6. Then you notice that I got a negative as the leading coefficient. So I take the negative out under negative 1. That taking the negative out makes the, the x positive and it makes the plus 6 minus. So a negative 1 times these two will give me this. That means I have Working this on the side, I have a negative outside of x minus 6. So, we also know that we should never have a negative in our denominator. So the negative, if you multiply top and bottom by negative 1, you get a negative 6 over x minus 6. Negative 1 times the negative is a positive, and a negative 1 times 6 is negative. So the negative moves from the bottom up to the numerator. Notice now, you have the same denominator of x minus 6. So when you add these, you get an x minus 6. And notice the two of these are the same, so it has 1 over 1. So this simplifies to 1. Again, notice I put it in descending order, take the negative out, because we shouldn't have a negative in our leading term. And because there's a negative in the bottom, that negative transfers to the top by multiplying top and bottom by negative 1. That will come back again and again and again. G, uh, looks like they're factored. Yes, that one is okay, but this one is not factored. So I can write it all down again, like this. Notice this denominator has to factor. So if you write it down, so I take a 2 and an x out, GCF. 2x squared divided by 2x is x. Negative 6x divided by 2x is negative 3. And this denominator can't factor any further. Since we have them all factored, let's pick out the LCD. I have to have an x. I have to have an x minus 3. And I have to have a 2. When I look back, I have an x. But the highest power of x is a 2, so I need an x squared. There's only a 2 here and a 2 here, 1, 2, and there's only 1x minus 3. So this is the, the LCD for these fractions. Check. Is x squared in this one? Yes. Is x minus 3? Yes. Is 2x in this LCD? Yes. x minus 3? Yes. Is 2x squared in the LCD? Yes. Now, we have... LCD. So what do I multiply this denominator by to give me this LCD? And you can see that there's a 2. So I put a 2 on the top. What do I multiply this denominator by to give you uh, 2x squared x minus 3? And the answer is I can put the x right here and the x here. So 2x times x is 2x squared x minus 3. What do I multiply 2x squared by to give me this? The LCD, and the answer is x minus 3. Now I can put the bracket there or not, there's your choice, but it's a multiplication. So let's go back, and so I put a 2 there, so 2 times x squared, x minus 3. That's going to be, I just put it in, that's going to be a denominator for all of these. 
if you're working everything out, that's the same denominator. So 2 times x squared minus 3x, there it is. 2 times x is 2x. Uh, 2x, x minus 3 times x, is this the LCD? So 3 times x is a plus 3x. And that's a plus. So 2x squared times x minus 3 is that LCD. Now I go negative 5 times x minus 3. Negative 5 times x, negative 5x. Negative 5 times negative 3, 15. So I have the LCD is 2x squared times x minus 3. So I have all common denominators. So I'm going to add all these up. Now you can write them all down or you can do them in your head, whatever you want. You just got to be careful. But so if you want, you can take, add the x's. So 2x, add on 3x is 5x. Subtract 5x is 0. So the x's add up to 0. So that means I have a 15 left. And the factors of 15 are 3 and 5. You cannot simplify this any further. Again, you can go, if you want, you can go 2x plus 3x, add on negative 5x plus 15, write all that along the top, and then write down 15 below. But if you add these carefully, you can, you know, you don't, you don't need an extra step, but that's your choice. So we have some practice. Practice means pause the video, work out the answer, press play. If you got the right answer, then pause it again, work out the next one and press play. Do one at a time to make sure you see if you're going okay. Here we go, number one. I got an x and a two denominator, so the LCD is 2x. So I multiply the first one by 2 over 2, and I multiply the second fraction of a half by x over x. So 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times x is 2x. And 1 times x is x. And common denominator is 2x. So I add 2 plus x is x plus 2. Put it in descending order. You can't combine these because they're not like terms. Number 2, common denominator is, let's see, LCD. I have to have a, an x, a 5, and a 3. So I see 15x. The LCD for 5 and 3 is 15 with an x. So that means I multiply the first fraction by a 3. Because 3 times 5x is 15x, so I put a 3 on the numerator. 3x times what will give me 15x is 5, so I put a 5 on the top. So 3x times 5x, 3 times 5x is 15x. So now I got 3 times x, 3x, 3 times 5, 15. And 3x times 5 is 15x. And now I got 5 times x minus 3, 5 times x is 5x. 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. And I have the same denominator, so I write that down. 15x, and I add. So 3x, add on 5x, is 8x. And notice, plus 15 minus 15 cancels out 0. And I have 8x over 15x. The x cancels out once, so I get 8 over 15 x cancels out 1, 1. So I get 8 over 15. Number 3. Again, what is the LCD? Well, x minus 1 and x are different denominators, so I have an x times an x minus 1. I always put the monomial in the front of the binomial. That means when you multiply x minus 1 by to give you x times x minus 1, so the answer is x. So you put an x on top also. What do you multiply x by to give you x times x minus 1? Well, it's x minus 1, top and bottom. So multiply the two denominators, if you're doing it right, so it's x. But a little trick that I do, if you notice, when I'm doing this, when I'm picking up the LCD, I'll work on the left side of this one and the right side of this one. Because when you put a 2 here and multiply by x, you get a 2x. When you put the x on the, the right side of this one, you get a 2 times x, which is 2x. So 
So that flows right here. So because I'm making the equivalent fraction here, I'll put whatever I need to the on the left side of this one and the right side of this one. So when you do, you get an x times x minus 1 each time. Just a little uh, something you do. Because, and again, working on, you could write down all of this again, but I'm saving time by multiplying what's given here on the left side and the right side, because I'm, I don't want to keep writing it down because I, I don't want to have the video too long. Anyway, x times x minus 1 is right there. So x times 4, 4x. Four x. x times x minus 1 is right there. 3 times x minus 1 is 3x minus 3. Common denominator is x times x minus 1. And we add 3, 4x plus 3x is 7x minus 3. We cannot factor uh, 7x minus 3 at all because there's no GCF. That's the final answer. And again, you notice, number 4, x over 2 minus x and 2 over x minus x. Right here, this is in descending order, so I have to put this one in descending order. So let's do that on the side. So I got a 2 minus x. That's the same as a negative x plus 2. That's a negative, and that's a positive. So I just change the order. I take the negative out, and I get negative outside of x minus 2. Again, when you take the negative out, that negative x becomes a plus. That plus becomes a minus. So now I have x over negative x minus 2 over x minus 2. So I changed this descending order. I took a negative out. Now, this negative can't stay there. So if I multiply the top and the bottom by negative 1, I'll get a negative x. And negative times a negative is positive. So notice the negative 1 times a negative is a positive. Negative 1 times x is negative. The two denominators are now the same. So I have a common denominator of x minus 2. And I add these up, and I get a negative x plus 2. And a negative x plus 2. Notice, I can take the negative out of the, negative out of the numerator. That makes that an x minus 2. Take the negative out. Makes, change the negative to a positive and positive to a negative. Notice that these two factors are the same. So you cancel them, and you get... And negative one. Okay, number five. I have them in descending order. Can I factor them? Remember, can you factor your denominators to get the LCD? If you can, factor your denominator. Five is the GCF, so you get an x plus one. Two, three is the GCF. Three x divided by three is x. Three divided by three is one. Again, 5 times x plus 1 is 5x plus 5. You've got two terms here, so watch out. You've got to put that 1 there in order to multiply this back. 5 times x is 5x. 5 times 1 is 5. Be careful. Now the LCD. What's the LCD? I got a 5 and a 3, which is a 15, and I got an x plus 1. So LCD is... 15x plus 1. So what do I multiply 5 by 15 to give me a 3? I already have an x plus 1. What do I multiply this denominator by to give me 15x plus 1? It's 5 on top and a 3 on top. So if I put a 3 here, I got to put a 3 here. If I put a 5 here, I got to put a 5 there. So when I multiply, I'll get 15x plus 1. And this one should also be 15 x plus 1. 5 times 3 is 15. 3 times 5. Right? So 3 times 20 is 60. Now, this is 2 times 5 is 10. And I have the same denominator 15 times x plus 1. I'm going to say minus 1 then. Common denominator is the same, so write it down. And 60 plus 10 is 70. Now, does 70 have a factor? Well, I see a 5. 5 into 15 goes 3, and 5 into 70 goes 14. So the 5 cancels out as factor on the top and bottom. Okay, so 
some more practice. How are you making out? Hopefully is everything is going great. We're adding fractions, so we need a common denominator. It's in descending order, and we factor. So when we factor, 3 comes out. This is GCF, x minus 3. And again, we have the factor. The 3 is coming out again. We get an x plus 1. So 3 divided into the two of these gives me x minus 3. 3 divided into 2 by the binomial gives me x plus 1. So the LCD has got to be 3 is here and here. So it's got to be 1, 3, x minus 3, x plus 1. And again, note, this denominator is right here. This denominator is 3 and x plus 1 is there. So that's the LCD. That means, what do I multiply this denominator by to give me this? So I need an x plus 1. I also got to put it on the top. What do I multiply this denominator to give me this LCD? I need an x minus 3. I also have to put it on the top. Multiply. Now I'm going to take this denominator. No matter what this multiplication is on the bottom, which is going to be this, I'm just going to write down 3 times x minus 3. That's going to be for both of them. Even though this is x plus 3 times x plus 1, x minus 3, I'm going to keep them like this. Because they're going to be the same. So 2 times x plus 1 is 2x plus 2. 5 times x minus 3, 15x minus, sorry, 5x minus 15. 5 times x, 5x. 5 times negative 3, negative 15. And we have the same denominator, so that's 3 times x minus 3, x plus 1. And we add 2x, 5x, 7x. Plus 2 minus 15 is a minus 13. We cannot factor the numerator, so that's the final answer. Number 8. Again, i got to factor my denominators if possible. Descending order, x squared constant, x, x squared, x number. Perfect. So I'm going to factor first. So x squared minus 4 is the difference of two squares. It's an x and an x and a 2 and a 2 with a plus and a minus. And that's a 1 there. So when there's a 1x squared, I can go with two brackets. x squared is x and x. The factors of 2, because that's the product, and that's the sum. Product is 2, so i got a 2 and a 1. They're the only factors of 2. Because the product is positive and the sum is positive, i got a plus 2, plus 1. So check. Multiply. 2 times 1 is 2. Add 3. And check here. Plus 2 times minus 2, negative 4. And add. You get 0 because there's no x in the middle. Perfect. Now, what is the LCD? Well, I have to have an x plus 2. I have to have an x minus 2. And remember, you have to have this denominator, this one, in this LCD. Then you say, what's over here? What's in this other denominator that's not here? And the answer is x plus 1. In other words, you need one of each of these because there's no powers of 2s or 3s. Now, what do we multiply this denominator by to give me this LCD? And the answer is x plus 1. So we put it on the top also. To, and what do we multiply this denominator by to give me this LCD? And the answer is x minus 2. You also have to put it on the top. Now we multiply. There we go. So I'm going to take this denominator for both of these. So I got an x plus 2, x minus 2, x plus 1. And I write that down for both of them. Because they're going to be the same, even though the order is different. But they're the same because multiplication is commutative. So we multiply. So how fast can you multiply a binomial by a binomial? Well, if you want to multiply it all right out, go ahead. But I'm going to go. X times X is X squared. 1 times 3 is plus 3. And I'm going to go outside 
to get a 3. I'm going to go inside to get a 1. So that makes it a plus 4x. So notice outside is 3x, inside is 1x, which makes a 4x. I just multiply the numbers and then I, because I'm going to get the, the same terms anyway, you know, like an x. And right here, x times x minus 2 is x squared minus 2x. So I have to write down the denominator as x plus 2, x minus 2, x plus 1. Remember that, put these two the same. It's the same denominator as you know, like these denominators are the same so I write down that denominator now I add when I add notice I got an x squared add on x squared is 2x squared I add the x's so I got a plus 4 and a minus 2 so that's a plus 2x and I have a plus 3 so I notice I add the x squared I add the x's and add the constants now can this factor can I factor 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 3? And you got to do some work. The factors of 3, it might not work, but let's see. 2 cannot come out, so we got a product of 2 times 3 is 6, and we have a sum of 2. So the factors of 6 are 6 and 1, 3 and 2. Notice we got all pluses, so the product is positive. And this sum is positive, so these are adding up. So can you add up the factors of 6 to give you a 2? Because because, that, because the product is positive, 6, they're going to add. So add them up 7, add them up 5. So that means that that can't factor, no matter what I try to do, because I can't get the factors of 6 to give me a 2. Okay, done. Number 9, again, we have... The factor our denominators. Always factor the denominators. So we have a 2 is not a GCF. So here we go again. That 2 is not a GCF. I got to go and find my product. It's 2 times 6 is 12. The sum is a 7. The factors of 12 are 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4. So which pair of factors? give you a 7. No, no, so it's 3 times 4. Again, the product is positive, the sum is positive, so there's two pluses. So I have to go 2x squared and 6. So the 7 is made up of the plus 3x plus 4x. So these two factors go in the middle with an x, because when they add, they give you the 7x. So we go 2 and 2 by um, grouping. So we take an x out of these two. We get 2x plus 3. We take a plus 2 out. So whatever that sign is right there, that's what goes right there. So I take a plus 2 out. So 4x divided by 2 is 2x. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And the two of these are the same. So x plus 2 is common, GCF. So if I take x plus 2 out of that, I get an x. If we take x plus 2 out of this one, I get a plus 2. So that factors into 2x plus 3 times x plus 2. So I had to do all that factoring to get to there. And negative, I got to factor this one. So that's a 1. So a 1x squared is easy easier 1x squared is x and x the factors of 10 to give me a 3 notice i have a 10 negative 10 product the product is negative 10 so i'm guaranteed to have a plus and a minus why when you multiply those signs you get negative now what are the factors of 10 if the product is negative 10 then i got a 1 times 10 and a 2 times 5 so which pair of factors give me a 3 so it's a 2 and a 5. But the sum is negative. So I have to have a plus 2 and a minus 5. Multiply. Negative 10. Add negative 3. So I got a plus 2 and a minus 5. And what is the G... What the, I'm going to say GCF. What is the LCD? What's the least common denominator? Well, I have...
have to have a 2x plus 3. I have to have an x plus 2. And what's in this denominator that's not here? I need an x minus 5. That means I have to multiply this one by x minus 5 over x minus 5. And I have to multiply this one by 2x plus 3. Top and bottom. So when we multiply, so these two denominators, if I have it done right, will be the same as this one. 2x plus 3 and x plus 2 and x minus 5. So I'm writing the, the two of these down now. Just takes a little bit of time, but we do it. So x minus 5 times 2x plus 3 times x plus 2 are there. And when you multiply these three, there it is there, only the order. So I write this one down on both of these to keep them the same. But the multiplication here will give you the same answer as if you multiplied. If you multiply this, this, or this, you'll get the same answer. Now we got to go and do foil on this. Oh, binomial times a binomial. So let's do the shortcut. x times 2x, 2x squared. Negative 5 times positive 5 is a negative 25. Now, 1 times 5 is 5. Negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. 5 and a negative 10, negative 5. Now, if you want to write down first, outside, inside, last, and then write another step and add them up to get this, go ahead. Now, I'll do a foil on this one. So, negative x times 2x is a negative 2 x squared. 4 times 3 is 12. Outside is negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. 4 times 2 is 8. And negative 3 plus 8 is a plus 5. Again, if you want to write down the four terms and then write another step to add them up, go ahead. Now I got the same denominator. There it is. And I'm adding. So what you're going to add up your numerators. So 2x add on negative x cancels. Minus 5 add on plus 5 cancels. Negative 25 subtract 12. Sorry, negative 25 add on 12 is a negative 13. And you, there's no factor down here with a 13 in it, so that's the correct answer. So this one's a little bit longer, but it illustrates. And notice I did a foil quicker, but if you want to multiply four terms out for foil and then add them up but notice I simplify this when I multiply by foil here I get four answers I should simplify this before I go further simplifying makes it easier you can see the addition now with only one x squared one x and one constant so that's a review of adding and to end it all off I have one with negative exponents. So, the 4 is to the negative 1, so that's 1 over 4. But the x is not. Here, the x is to the negative 1, so that's 4 times 1 over x. And right here, 4x is to the negative 1, so that's 1 over 4x to the 1. So notice, when you multiply, that's x over 1, so that's x over 4. That's 4 over 1, so you get a 4 over x. And this is a 1 over 4x. So, the LCD, I need a 4 and I need an x. And this denominator is already the LCD. That means you multiply this one by x over x. Because x times 4 gives you 4x. You multiply this one by 4 over 4, give you 4x. And you don't change this one. So that's an x squared over 4x. Add on 16 over 4x. Add on 1 over 4x. Common denominator is 4x. Write it down. Add them up. I get an x squared. Add on 17. And this cannot factor any further. Again, notice... I like the end with the negative exponent to show you what's happening.
and hopefully you enjoyed the review. Hopefully you work these out and you're able to add fractions. Finding the LCD extremely important when you move on in math. If you, if you like my video, click the like button, subscribe button, the notification bell. Visit my website, www.mathfullyexplained.com to find more information about me, my videos, and the content. That's the content on my YouTube channel called Math Fully Explained. Thank you for viewing my video. Bye-bye.